Hey everybody, my name is LG Simulation and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to optimize your Roblox Studio and your game to reduce lag and um, for your computer to perform better whilst in Roblox Studio. So, yeah, um, you'll see a difference in the quality and the editing today because since my PC dies, uh, I've notified all of you on my Discord. By the way, join my Discord, my link is in the description. Um, yeah, I notified all of you that my uh, laptop recently died. Um, yeah, it just stopped, com it completely stopped working. I got it working again, and it's not the best. It works, it gets the job done. Not completely, but it. I can record like vid some videos and stream a tiny bit. But um, yeah, I've just been having a bad time with my material, with my gadgets right now. My mic, my computer, my screens, my keyboards, mouse. Everything's just been acting up. Um, and as you know, it's uh, the summer. It's really hot right now in France. So yeah, I'm just uncomfortable. And I've be I wanted to turn on the fan, but I realised that you could hear it on the mic, and I didn't want you guys to, you know, just to hear the fan. It's just not, not very nice. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. So first, what you're going to want to do is go up into File, um, File, which is on the top there. You won't be able to see the drop down menu, I don't think, since it's a separate window. But uh, you're going to go down to the bottom and in between Online Help and Beta Features, you're going to click Settings. And let me just activate the window for you. Uh, there. So it's a separate window on your computer. So I had to, because I use uh, window capture, I couldn't, um, you know, you, you couldn't see it. So this is the second time I'm recording this. So yeah, uh, first what you're going to do is we're going to go from top to bottom. Uh, in here, you're going to go to video quality. If you ever like recording any videos, for example, you go to view and then you go to capture video uh, just put it down to low resolution it will help your computer in uh, diagnostics is uh, not really much you can do here physics there's not much you can do here either studio so in studio what i always do is i go to show diagnostic bar in advance show diagnostic bar it just activates the bar on the bottom of your screen where it shows your schedule your cores how many cores are active and um, how much fps you're getting in roblox studio um, then you're going to go to network no not network rendering and I have my uh, quality level at 1 and my edit quality level at 21. Quality level is in-game quality in Roblox Studio. And edit quality level is what is, you know, when you're editing. So if you put that to 1, you'll see a big difference in the quality in the uh, decals and textures in, the, in studio when you're editing your game. But I always put it to 21, just it looks better quite a quality level is just when you're playing the game so when you click uh, when you go into test and then play or home and then play in Roblox studio that you can just edit the quality level I just put it at one um, these are the, just the mesh parts how the quality of the mesh parts in studio just put it at one you know just just don't you know mess around with this too much Auto FRM level, I just put it at 10 because I just feel like it helps my computer a bit more. This is the big part here. Uh, these two here, this one and this one. Export merge by material, I don't, want, I don't know what that is and I don't want to mess with something I don't know. So, uh, Direct 3D11, I use Direct 3D11 because it's the most up-to-date one and uh, it works better. Direct 3D9 is outdated, Metal is outdated, no graphics is just bad. OpenGL is outdated and Vulcran is outdated. Uh, Vulcran, OpenGL and I think Direct 3D11 are the ones that I, that I use in um, OBS Studio but uh, you know I just use Direct 3D11. Auto frame, frame Rate Manager is the you you how what will manage your frame rate so if you put it on it'll just get you to the best frame rate you can i just leave it as off just I, either way i always have and i always will i guess 
task scheduler uh, I just put it I just go to thread pool config and put it at four cores for uh, per core four but you can put it at one if you want to or, or three or two just put it at four and uh, yeah I, I'm trying to make this tutorial as fast as I as possible just just a quick video on how to do this so when you click close uh, it will ask you to restart your um, it will ask you to restart your uh, Roblox Studio if you've done anything major. Uh, I always I already did the video, so the another video, so it didn't ask me to do that because I had to restart the recording because I didn't do it correctly. But uh, it will come up with a little prompt: uh, restart now or restart later. Click restart now, and then it will bring you up with a window: uh, save. You want to save your game and then uh, it won't restart you'll have to restart it manually so um, click out of Roblox Studio and then uh, launch up again and you'll see your changes so yeah I hope that this video was helpful make sure to join my discord and uh, yeah come hang, hang out with me on uh, Roblox and discord and I'll see you all in the next video bye